What's up, guys? It's your girl, Matt Cox with M.A. Couture Crafting. Welcome to day two of Quilt In With Soul Week. Yes, this is quilt number one right behind me. And yes, I do love this one. Um, I've made four quilts, all three yard quilts, quilts, type quilts. And this one is definitely one of the ones that I love. My absolute favorite will be debuted on Friday. Stay tuned, follow along. Every day I'm dropping a video, 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Be ready, because they should be pretty interesting. So the one behind me is called Porch Rails. And if you buy the entire kit, you're gonna get the pattern with it. If you already are a fan of Three Yard Quilts and you have some of their books, this one is in the Pretty Darn Quick book. We don't sell the books. We're only selling this entire kit with the pattern. Let me tell you how to do it. So your focus fabric, your focal fabric right here, this one, this guy right here is going to go in your number one position. The number two is going to be the stained glass right here. That's what I'm calling this quilt stained glass. And then your number three fabric will be just your solid black. And again, all of this comes with enough to make your quilt, um, to make your quilt top three yard quilt kits. If you're not familiar, please check out my video of why I love three yard quilt kits. I've been obsessed. I've been making them nonstop. So if you do one kit, that's enough to make this small throw. If you want to do multiples, so you want to do two, that'll give you a full size. And this would look so good in a full. And then if you want to do uh, a king, go on ahead and grab four kits. Now, I like this best in the um, in the throw and the twin size for this particular pattern. Yes, it's busy, but it's really, really, really cool. I like it. Wait until you see the entire quilt um, on the pictures that I show. You guys, this is a great one. These will all become available on Friday. All the quilt kits will become available. I'll be debuting my very favorite one on Friday, and that is when these will become available. They're very exclusive. You can only get them through Facebook. I'm leaving the description bar information below so that you'll know how to contact Quilt In With Soul and get your kits. There's a very, very limited quantity. So if you see one that you like, be sure to write it down. And hopefully you checked out my video yesterday that showed you some of the other fabrics that they have in the shop. Maybe you want to add to your order. Okay, guys, so let's get into how to put this one together. Again, this is the Porch Rails Three Yard Quilt Kit. We are not affiliated with Three Yard Quilts. I'm just really obsessed with the concept and her patterns, and I really, really like what they're doing over there. So I had the opportunity to put together my own kits, and so I did. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you're looking forward to what's coming this week. I'm super excited. This quilt gives me, oh, such energy. I think it came together great. And again, this is the stained glass porch rails pattern quilt. And that's how you'll describe it to them when you contact uh, Quilt and Whistle. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so this is definitely one of my favorites. There are all the fabrics laid out together. So that's gonna be your one, your two, and your three fabric. And this one does repeat quite a bit. So it's not super duper bossy, like I said, but it's definitely a lot going on. And like I said, you probably will not be able to duplicate exactly my quilt, but you'll get a variation of it, which again makes me happy so that we all have something just slightly different. Now I'm cutting this according to the directions and this is gonna be a super fast video because it's one full block and then a piece block which makes these quilts go by super duper fast. So if you have a pattern or something that you really want to show off, it this is kind of one of those great quilts to do it because you've got a whole large block there that can sing by itself. So again, I am cutting out the larger piece right now using one of my Quilter Select rulers. I am a big fan of these rulers, guys. They do not move. And I went ahead and just tried that trick where you spin it and leave the fabric underneath it. It works better on their cutting mats, but it worked fine here too. A way to square it up. So now I'm cutting the strips because you'll see this one goes together. Really, this one's a fast sew. I probably did this in just a couple hours. This was a super duper duper fast sew because of the way that it goes together. So you cut your strips 
and there was nothing that I had to match up so it really wasn't a big deal which direction I pressed my strips in this situation I'm pretty sure I pressed them I probably pressed it going toward the black knowing me um, I like to hide the fabric under the darkest fabric if possible so let's see yep I put it under the black so I just opened them up finger pressed it and then hit it with an iron and now I'm cutting this and that's the blocks that's it guys just like that what when you get close to this you can see that that stained glass matches that other print so well um, initially I was looking at it, I was like people are gonna think this is too busy but you know what in an African quilt you know this is kind of the traditional style in my opinion where you see the black and the print because it's easy it's an easy way to uh, work with these prints so I went ahead with the more traditional way of piecing this one as far as the colors are concerned just throw a black in there and everything will be fine I'd actually like to see what this looks like in with white as the bars I think it'll give it such a light feel and I've never seen an African quilt that feels light I pinned at the intersections just to you know make it look good and now I'm going to do these borders the way they have you do the borders you stick that little notch in between the fabrics and then you're going to measure just by laying the border there and just marking because um, everybody's quilts everybody's quarter inch is just a touch different so this one here I'm measuring by literally putting it on there as opposed to using a tape measure and then you go on ahead and cut those off and I believe you add little squares to the ends of this particular one and then you're going to put it to the side you'll take your little black squares and add them to the strip I like the way that this border comes together it was um, it was pretty cool I'm just clipping it there I can't sew it on at that point because the there was nothing to sew the little black squares to I have to do the other side piece too and you're going to plop this black square in the center of these and then just sew it down and this is all according to the directions I didn't do any tweaking here that wasn't necessary so I'm just trimming it down here and we will sew on that side and then come back around and I am marking here and just to be sure that I'm getting it kind of centered I went ahead and finger pressed it I just folded that black square in half so I knew where the middle was and I sew the middle down and the sides and I did do a little clipping just to be sure that everything lined up and you know what it lined up really well this quilt And we're doing some more clipping and then I sewed it and now we're just going to cut off the excess and flip it around and cut off the excess and there you have it so on the back I used a panel and I bordered it with lime green fabric and I love this one the back is probably one of my favorite backs it's so bright and here we are with this finished quilt if you like it write it down and check them out on Friday it will be available and here are some more videos to check me out and hang out with me even more see you soon